All right, so first of all, excuse the messy hair. I have been doing power yoga, core power yoga in the mornings and you sweat bullets. And so I don't wanna to continue to dry my hair and mess it up with heat. So this is what you get. The topic at hand is how to reverse aging by repairing your mitochondria. And you've probably been told that wrinkles are inevitable. It's just genetics, it's the sun, not really. Think of aging as a microscopic engine failure that's happening in every cell in your body. The mitochondria are those energy centers of the cell and that energy declines with age and you just need to pretty much reboot it. You need to boost that energy. We're made up of energy and so if we figure that part out, we are slowing down aging and even reversing it. The true driver of aging inside and out is mitochondrial dysfunction. When your mitochondria stop working efficiently, your cells can't produce enough energy. And that's the energy that's very much needed to repair damage, boost your collagen production, and reduce inflammation. And that's why you start having skin problems, your wrinkles deepen, and so on. Of course, genes still play a small part, much smaller than we thought in the past, probably 10, 20% max, and the sun plays a part as well. But a lot of us get that premature aging due to that lack of energy. And here's the kicker. Everything in our modern lifestyle contributes to that mitochondrial dysfunction. So think, lack of sleep, stress, all the toxins around us, sugar, pollution, you name it. So it's so important to be ultra aware of all those things, try to reduce our exposure to them and start repairing that energy. Hi and welcome. My name is Nadia Ben-Shakrun, founder of thebeautydoctrine.com and Functional Beauty Principles. I'm here to teach you how to age your very best without intervention by understanding your biology. After nearly three decades in the beauty industry as a certified skincare expert, I've helped thousands of women get their very best skin. Not with Botox or filler or any of that, but through lifestyle changes, supplementation, and great skincare that's skin compatible. Everything I recommend is rooted in cellular science, not marketing. I quit corporate America and dedicated the last four years to being the consumer's guide. So I curate my top choices on the beautydoctrine.com. Think of mitochondria as the power plants of your cells. They produce that ATP, which is your cellular currency. Your skin, brain, heart, muscles depend on that energy to repair. When mitochondria are damaged, your cells lose the ability to repair and that is so important. I cannot drive that home enough. Consumers continue to chase after the latest trend in skincare, thinking that they can just slather all this stuff on growth factors and stem cells and all these things, and somehow their wrinkles are gonna be fixed. You cannot fix wrinkles topically. You got to fix them internally first, and then the topicals are just the cherry on top. You get the point, let's get to the meat of things. And so the first step is to get rid of those mitochondrial saboteurs. Enemy number one is sugar and refined carbs. They create these molecules called ages, advanced glycation end products. They go to work wrecking havoc on your collagen and breaking down your mitochondrial function. Sugar is also an immune suppressor. It creates that glycation, the hardening of your collagen and elastin. It suppresses your immune system. Just one tablespoon of sugar can suppress your immune system for up to 10 hours. It's terrible, it's horrible for us. There's no reason to consume sugar. Obviously, as a treat here and there, that's okay, but a lot of us now just have all these sugary things as part of our daily diet, and that's something to think twice about, especially if you're suffering from premature aging, if you're seen sagging, wrinkling, I promise you, get that sugar out of your diet, you'll start seeing that tightening happening. Second is seed oils, canola, soybeans, safflower, sunflower, vegetable oil, corn oil. Get rid of those and that's what most restaurants cook with even upscale restaurants. So you don't go to upscale restaurants uh, to get healthy food, you, get, you go to get delicious food. So you have to understand that. So it's not about just avoiding McDonald's, but it's about trying to cook at home as much as possible with the right healthy fats. And that's pretty much olive oil, 
grapeseed oil in some instances, avocado oil, if you're able to find one that's really, really pure. Coconut oil can also be great. Grass-fed butter can be really good as well. You wanna avoid all of those seed oils because they're severely toxic to your cells. They create so much inflammation and their negative side effects last. They're long lasting in your bodies for months and sometimes years. And the third culprit, I'm super guilty of having this, it is stress. <laughs> it, high cortisol just floods the system, shuts your ability to be able to repair. So if any aging is happening, it's happening when you are highly stressed. Now that we've got the enemies out of the way, let's start rebuilding that mitochondrial energy with supplements and diet. I'm 48 now. When I was in my early 20s, I was so lucky to have worked for Dr. Perry Cohn. He is the father of the inflammation theory. And he wrote so many books and so on. He spoke all the time about alpha lipoic acid. And the more research I do, like, Almost three decades later, I'm still running into amazing research about this molecule. Alpha lipoic acid is a superstar. It's water and fat soluble. It boosts your mitochondrial energy. It's super reparative for your cells. It's phenomenal. Uh, my favorite part about it is that it helps boost our own production of glutathione, which is the master antioxidant. And I cannot emphasize enough that that's what we need. Whether you're talking about aging or hyperpigmentation or acne, if you don't have enough antioxidants in your body to fight off all this oxidation, you're pretty much rusting on the inside. You're developing that hyperpigmentation. Your cellular turnover is sluggish. You're starting to break down and develop wrinkles and so on. So get that glutathione production going with alpha lipoic acid. And of course, you're gonna find my favorite on thebeautydoctrine.com. I've spent so much time vetting every ingredient. Supplements today are very tricky. They're full of flow agents and gut disrupting chemicals. And so you think that you're getting one good ingredient, but there are a bunch of others that are wrecking havoc on one of your systems. And so you want to go for supplements that are ultra clean, that are free of those harmful substances. And then we have NAD+, you've probably heard of it. That's the coenzyme that our cells need to generate energy. It's a precursor to energy. In order to boost NAD+, we need those precursors like NMN or NR. Both are derivatives of vitamin B3. The more I research vitamin B3, it really is so amazing for so many things. You probably have heard of niacinamide. That's another derivative of vitamin B3. I've done a full video on it. I will link it up below it is phenomenal it can truly help with so many different skin functions but back to that mitochondrial energy nmn and nr i love both i take them in rotation so i start taking nmn when i finish that bottle i go with nr and back in the rotation. so far we've boosted our master antioxidant we're boosting our nad plus levels but next we need to allow for that repair to start happening and repair can happen during autophagy and so our bodies now are kept very busy just like our lifestyles we're constantly chewing food we need to intermittent fast flat out uh, so you want to try and not eat for at least i mean minimum you're not even going to autophagy but like just to maintain some type of healthy body you need to have a break of 12 hours overnight when you get it to about 14 hours for women that's great you start going to, to that autophagy every once in a while you can go to 17 hours um, you can get away with that when you're in your 20s 30s 40s and 50s it becomes really tricky so i'm 48 i'm sticking to that 14 hour window and i do it about you know three four times a week if i can whenever i can but i i ensure that i'm very deliberate about 12 hours at least autophagy is extremely important so think of it this way when your body is busy digesting it's not repairing it cannot do both at the same time as we consume food and such our body is tapping into the energy that we give it throughout the day which is the food when the food is absent now it's going to go into your reserves it cleans house so it starts that cellular cleanup so fasting is a must and that brings me to this other molecule which is spermidine so spermidine can speed up that autophagy so you can go ahead and fast for that 14 hours and then you take spermidine you can take some omega-3 as well and that extends the benefits 
off fasting. If you don't fast at all, take it still. So I take spermidine on the days that I don't fast to make sure I am continuing that cellular cleanup. I keep these little packets in my nightstand. They're spermidine, taurine, a bunch of great amino acids that help me sleep. I take this every night with magnesium and I sleep like a baby. But nice that I don't do this and I decide to take spermidine during the day, I take the Feel Supreme formula. Next, you're gonna need vitamins and greens. They're not optional. You're gonna need your vitamins and your minerals because they are essential to every enzymatic function in the body. They are the food that our mitochondria need and require to support their function and neutralize free radicals, which cause all that damage in the first place. So keep your diet colorful and diverse. I love berries, I love apples, nuts and seeds, and I consume arugula almost every single day. That's my go-to cruciferous vegetable because that helps with cellular detoxification. It supports your kidneys. Or you can supplement with the super greens, which you can find on my website. I always have a little packet with super greens for when I'm on the go. If I'm gonna eat out at a restaurant and I know I'm not going to eat as healthy, I pop in one or two of those supplements. If you start taking these supplements, adding collagen, creatine, you know, those skin supporting supplements, MSM is really great when you're a little bit older. So like 40s and 50s, MSM becomes a really good idea because it helps support your joints as well. You do that coupled with a good diet, start working on that sleep, you're going to see a significant difference in your skin within two months. What else can we do? Well, let's get into red light therapy. I think of red light therapy as the shortcut. It's like I'm cheating when I'm using red light therapy because it infuses your mitochondria directly with all of that energy. And this has been proven by science over and over again. Google it and you'll find hundreds of studies at this point that prove that red light can actually be more effective than minoxidil. I just read that recently for hair growth. I know that we're not talking about hair, but just so you know, the power of red light. So it can be more effective than minoxidil. It can be more effective than collagen, but please don't skip the collagen. Uh, regardless, red light therapy is extremely effective. It's non-invasive. If you use it correctly, you are golden. And I have so many videos about that, how to use it correctly. Find those videos, I'll probably link one or two. Even 30 seconds of cold exposure can activate your mitochondrial biogenesis. So if you can get yourself to take that cold shower in the morning or just at the end of the shower, get that 30 seconds of cold exposure, you are on the right track to boost in that mitochondria. And lastly, go outside and walk barefoot, hug a tree. Basically, you want to ground. If you don't have access to that, I love my grounding mat. I will go ahead and link that up for you as well. So in the winters, I spend a lot of time on my mat because I'm not outside that much. Grounded recharges your body. Now let's get into topical recommendations. While internal work is about 80% of the game, external support can be helpful as well. Inflammation equals mitochondrial damage, so avoid inflammatory ingredients, and they are abundant in mainstream skincare. Anytime you're using skincare with fragrance, with harsh alcohols, salicylic acid, an abundance of exfoliants, all these things are extremely damaging and inflammatory for the skin. So go more gentle, stop chasing the active, stop chasing the trends. I created what's called the TBD method of application you'll find it in detail on my website and that is a simple five-step routine that covers everything your skin needs to thrive so your hydration your moisture your sun protection a good gentle cleanser and that's it if you adopt a healthy lifestyle if you fill the gaps with your supplementation you boost in with the NMN and everything that I just talked about and you're protecting your skin properly with a non nano zinc sunscreen maintaining weekly exfoliation it's really that simple and so stop buying skincare products that are introducing toxins, carcinogens, hormonal disruptors, and all these inflammatory agents and go back to basics with high quality, clean, skin compatible ingredients. I have so many recommendations in my guides. So if you want access to the guides, just comment guide. The next video will be about collagen, what works, what doesn't, why some people break out with it or have bad reactions to it and so on. So don't miss it. Make sure you subscribe and click that bell button so you never miss a video. Let me know what your biggest concerns are, what your questions are, and I'm happy to make a video just for you. Until the next one, be well, be safe, be beautiful. Take care.